Seattle Engraving Center, the masters of gun customization, featuring incredible detailed engraving, 24 karat gold plating, diamonds, gems, murals, amazing gold accents, first class quality, 100% satisfaction. More bang for your buck from their showroom. Raise money for your charity with a one of a kind prize. Seattle Engraving, you dream it, they will create it. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This Sunday is Born to Ride's Great American Biker Bash. A lot of things are going on. You don't want to miss it. Meet Paul Tuttle, the legend himself. Preacher Stone live in concert. Chopper Town live. Summer days. See the builders and see those awesome choppers. And breaking news. Breaking news besides vendors, bike games, prizes, and more. Burt King has opened his doors to Burt's Harley Davidson. For the bike show, that's right. We're going inside with the Born to Ride 10 class bike show. And it's sign up is from 11 to 3. Bring your bikes inside the dealership. That is so awesome, people. That's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 10 class ride and bike show with $1,000 cash and prizes to be awarded to the winners. Special thanks to Health Insurance 65.com. That's James Irwin of Biker Helping Bikers. It's all going down. 
this Sunday, 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 the Born to Ride Great American Biker Bash at the OCC Roadhouse. Don't miss it. Be there. Hey, 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 hey. It's the John and Other Show coming to you live from our production studio, riding with this fine bunch back here, born to ride. And since these days, make sense here, tell us why. It's because it is. We're here and it's born to ride, baby. Normally it's like a Taco Tuesday thing, but that's just the same. It is. It's also Taco Tuesday, baby. And we got Vixen Harley Dog right here. We got her cuteness. Look at her. Look, 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 look You look, cannot look, 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 look. do without that cuteness. I am telling you, that is some ultimate cuteness. Look, 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 look. Oh, and she wants to be tired. Now, it's 9 o'clock our time here, but um, I don't know what time it is there. But anyway, we want to talk about a couple things coming up that's just near and dear to us and near and dear to Born and Ride because we have the great American Biker Bash coming up here on the 21st of this month. It's you do not want to, to miss, miss this. I mean, let's take a deep breath. Woo! Let's talk about how much fun this is going to be. Ten bucks, guys. We'll get you in to see. Uh, ten bucks gets you in to see. Preacher Stone. Who, by the way, will be on tonight? Unbelievable. That's right. What did we say? What did we say? They will be on tonight. Preacher Stone will be on tonight. Yes, they will. And they will be hey, where? Bob, what's up? Here. At? John oh. Adam's show and also at the Great American Biker Bash on the 21st. You got to be there. You want to bring your bike. It's a $25 fee between 11 and 3. Come there and sign up. There's going to be 10 classes of bikes. Beautiful trophies to be given away, uh, placards, just you name it. $1,000 in cash and prizes. Get that, guys. $1,000 in cash and prizes. I can use it. I just bought a new bike myself. Um, and I'll tell you right now, $1,000 in cash and prizes, that goes a little way on my bike, I can tell you that. That would definitely help us out, wouldn't it? Unless we put up mirrors and new pegs they want in the back. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That the 10 well. classes that they're going to have. It's also sponsored by Health Insurance 65. That's Mr. Irwin himself. Go talk to him for biking insurance. Now they're going to have a chopper, a bagger, a ladies' class. Woo woo! I like Cruiser, the ladies' class. Old school daily rider, of course, the best in show. And it's going to be a custom and open and an import. So be there. Twenty-five dollars, eleven to three. Award team Porsche, and that's exactly what. I'm well, saying. yeah, give it a little bit of time. For ish, ish. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Beach day. Oh, uh, well, hold on, hold on a minute. But anyways, mm -hmm. we were talking about the beautiful. And wait, get this. Guess what I just heard? Wow. Hot off the press, press. guys. You're not going to believe this. You're going to get to park your bike. Inside Burt's Barracuda VIP. Access. Harley Davidson. People want to die. I mean, they die. They just die to put their bike. They, oh, they want yeah. to take pictures of their bike parked inside Burt's Barracuda, Harley Davidson. And guess what? You get to put your bike in there for the show. Oh, my that. God. I may be like that. Day. We'll see what happens. And that's an hour and a half ride for us. I got the children. Just so he can take a picture of his bike put inside. That's what he wants to do. That's 100% true. And also, top it all off. Their main headliner of the night will be Preacher Stone. And Preacher Stone, they are known for the theme song of Sons of Anarchy. They will be on the show telling you about them coming to OCC Roadhouse, new music that they may be having in store that's be coming your way. They're going to talk to you all about it tonight, yep. tell you everything. You're going to get to talk to them. You could call in. You no, can, no, no, no. You text in. You yeah. could text, text in. You could tell them you love them. You could tell them all sorts of Any things. Any fans of Preacher Stones want to come on. They're going to be on around 9.35-ish. And they'll be in the second block to be block of our hour. Then you could go ahead and whatever you want to talk to them. I'm sure that, you know, they wouldn't mind. That's right. And guess what else is going to happen at the Great American Biker Bash on Sunday, August 21st? Preacher Girl. Oh, my gosh. Guess who else is going to be there besides Preacher Stone? 
Senior. What? What did you say? Paul Senior. That's right. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have Paul Senior is gonna be there. O M G. Paul Senior is gonna be there. It's going to be an incredible day. It is going to be amazing. There's going to be Paul Senior. There's going to be vendors. There's going to be snazzy suds that, that just. Oh, the Kitty Bike Watch babes. Oh, and she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just, you, guys, you guys come down there and talk to Angela, Sassy Suds, the Kitty Bike Watch babes. Get your bike wash there. Take all the pictures that you want with your bike and the beautiful ladies out of there. And come and see Paul Senior. Oh my God, you might even get to talk to him. To cuddle himself. That's right, and get to see all of the amazing bikes that he's been building. If you go in the museum, you can especially. That's right. The OCC also has a museum with all Paul Tuttle. Um, the bike builds that he has there, the hanging from the ceiling along the wall is a gift shop there. Food, good food, by the way. And you can go in there, you can eat, you can take in the atmosphere. It's just a nice place to go. You really want to be there. So, guys, you got to come. Come on down, August 21st, OCC. Or it's Barracuda. We can't wait to see you. Yeah, Preacher Stone. Some, Preacher Stone. Yeah, I think we got to play some commercials. That's there. right. We got some more commercials for you. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Info USA, the first bikers app by bikers for bikers, and it's free. National and state events, Sturgis and Daytona, Bikers Info USA. Every motorcycle manufacturer dealer listed, biker products for you and your bike. Bikers Info USA, find the places to go, places to party, places to stay at every event. Bikers Info USA, download it now, it's free. Bikers Info USA. Wildwood Antique Malls, three amazing locations to find your treasures in Florida. Vero Beach, Eustis, Wildwood. More than just antiques. Tons of rare collectibles, toys, books, vintage furniture, records, jewelry, and so much more. Open seven days a week. Great staff, clean, and air conditioned for your shopping pleasure for the whole family. So put it on your bucket list because it's a must-see for these three locations. For more information, wildwoodantiquemalls.com. Attention all bikers. This is the hottest bike night everyone is talking about. A must for you and your motorcycle. Burt's Great American Bike Night at the Orange County Choppers Roadhouse and Museum. Powered by the Fran Hodge Law Group, 866 Law Fran. Every Thursday night, rain or shine. Thousands of dollars in prizes, great food and drinks. The best live music going today. Vendors always welcome. Experience the experience of the future of all bike nights. This is it. And Burt's Barracuda Harley Davidson is always ready to take care of you with a new Harley service or just to kick tires. Attention all bikers. Every Thursday night, OCC Roadhouse is the place to be. See you there. So we call it Burt's Great American, uh, All American Bike Night, Great American Bike Night. This is a, a country club for motorcyclists. Uh, the biker community here has embraced this facility in an amazing way. We have 10 acres. We have two band stages. We have a 25,000 square foot covered pavilion. So rain or shine, we still have a bike. We have an 11,400 square foot restaurant, full service restaurant. We have a Harley Davidson dealership here with Burt's Barracuda. Paul Jr. has a shop here. We build bikes behind there, motorcycles for sale. And most importantly, we do have a ton of shit going on here. So we have two bands playing the night. Uh, we have big wheel races here. We have the uh, Cirque 
flyers that fly from our beams here. We do burnouts here. The burnout pit is amazing. If you've never seen somebody come out here and blow their tire and get it changed on the spot, that's pretty damn cool. We've got 30 vendors here tonight. We usually have a little more than that. And it is an over-the-top event. I love it. It's my favorite night of the week. It is absolutely the funnest time ever. It, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, what he's saying is so true. We come from Beverly Hills, Citrus County, all the way up an hour and a half because we love it up here. Yeah. I'm telling you, it is so much fun. There is so much to do. You have so much to choose from. Saw the shuffleboard. We have free pool tables. Everything here is free. We don't, we don't charge for anything. The only thing we ask you to do is have a good time. And that we do. Everybody's having a good time. But I tell you what, I am absolutely looking forward to your event coming up here. I, I've heard so many things about it. We've only been open a little under a year. I'm honored that we're going to be the host of it. We are super excited. And I tell you what, I love Preacher Stone. I was on my boat the other day, and you know they're known for the Sons of Anarchy theme. Yeah. And I heard a couple of great songs back to back on my XM app. And I looked down, and it's yeah. Preacher Stone. And I'm like, my God, they're still making albums, and it's badass. It's really good. So that's the headliner. I'm super excited about this event. We really are super proud to host it, and I think it's going to be amazing. I know, I know everybody with Born to Ride is going to make it an overtop event. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Born to Ride is just really looking forward to it. We are so stoked about it. And then it's going to be just an amazing event. Everybody's going to come out, rain or shine. Like he said, this place is going to be over the top. And it is going to be epic. So we are definitely looking forward to it. Thank you so much for Absolutely. working with us. Be here or be square. That's it. And
All right, guys. Well, guess what? We gave you a little bit of a teaser. intro, a teaser. Guess what we have? We've got the special guest that we told you we were going to have coming on. That's right. We've got the live. Preacher Stone. What did you say? I said too soon. Sorry. Preacher Stone. That's right. We've got the live. We got you. them here in the green room ready to start talking to everybody. And I'll tell you right now, I can't wait to have them on board the show. It's so nice to have them back into the Tampa Bay area, especially at the OCC Roadhouse, where you'll be able to see them. They're not here yet, not but here they'll yet. be coming, or they might be here. I don't know, but they'll be coming here Sunday, August 21st. They will be here. Yes, they will. <laughs> well, I see them in the green room right now. I see Ronnie and I see Ben. Hey, guys, are you down there? Are you okay? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to come on board. All right, All right let's right add you to the stream. Hi, Ronnie. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hi, Ben. Hey, what's up? Should hey, we... hey, we guys got you. Hey, Marty, right. should be hanging out too. Yeah, last week was a little bit, uh, you know, we had some live issues, but I'll tell you right now, it's looking really good today. You guys are coming in loud and clear, and I'm so happy to see you guys coming to the Tampa Bay area to be able to perform for us down here at OCC Roadhouse. I mean, you guys are excited about coming down here. It's, it's, I know I am. Have you Absolutely. ever been? To, have, you, have you ever been to Tampa? Oh, yeah. Florida? Oh, yeah. Many times. Okay. We, 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 we definitely do a lot of things down in Florida. Florida's the place to be at. It's the happening place to be down now. Have you ever played at uh, OCC Roadhouse? No. No? Are you excited about playing there? Oh, yeah. I mean, who yeah, couldn't be? We're big Have OCC you... fans from watching them on TV. So you've seen some of OCC Roadhouse. You've seen uh, Paul Tuttle. You've seen Choppers, and you've seen what he does. Oh, yeah. So you like all that stuff. Oh, we've got one more coming to the, the yeah, party. Yeah, he made it in. Marty made it in. Hold on. We've got Marty Hill joining here. us. What's up? Hi. Hey. How you doing, Marty? It's a party because Marty's in the party. <laughs> hey, join the party. Yeah. How you doing, Marty? I am doing good. Hang on one second. I'm going to get um, this cord over here and plug this bad boy in when you know it. <laughs> so I might have to switch a room positions real quick. <laughs> well, listen, Ronnie, Ben, Marty, it's a pleasure to have you all on. And I'm so glad to have you guys with us. I'm looking forward to seeing you all live in person on the 21st. This is the second time we've had you guys on our show. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to meeting you in person. Yeah, it'll be so nice because it's so weird when you have all these Facebook friends and you finally meet them in person. You know, it's like the internet's such a weird thing. Yeah. So do you have any, I was going to say, I mean. Um, I have one oh, question okay. for yeah, you first. that I have not been able to nail yet. What is the name of the song that you have played so many darn times for Sons of Anarchy. Um, you want me to get that one? <laughs> <laughs> not today. No, yeah. Hold on, the name of the song. It's not today. Not today. No, I was. I wasn't saying I wasn't going to tell you today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> for the life of us, we couldn't remember the name of the song. It was so weird. Do you, hey, I was going to ask you: Do you have any new new stuff coming out? Because um, hold on a oh, minute. I didn't. I didn't hear his answer, baby. He, not today was the answer. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I was going to say that. What do you have? About, um, any new releases coming out that we should be aware of? Them? Well, who's going to jump on that one? <laughs> I, R R R Ronnie, go ahead and take that one. Okay. Uh, we're we're working right now on our fifth CD, and okay. we're. Yeah. We have recorded a, a few songs on it, and in the not too distant future, we're going to be releasing a video for for a new song. Oh, so yeah, right. we're in the process of working on stuff, and we're going to sort of release something as a teaser uh, to you know 
get us back, get everybody back excited about what's going on down here because we've been working really hard on some new music and we're real proud of what's going on. Marty, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, we had the chance to shoot the um, you know, the studio sessions. We had a you know video guy come come in and, and document it, so we'll have some uh, some video of that too in the studio, a video. Oh, I love that being made in the studio. So looking forward to that coming out too. So you, we're, 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 Ronnie, Ronnie and Marty had this great vision of, of, um, of putting together not only new material, but some, some video content. And it really is, it really is spectacular. And this is me speaking as a member of the band, but, uh, you guys just hang on and, and, and hold on to your shorts for this one. This is going to be good. Yeah, it was fun, too. It was, it was fun. It really Actually, was. Um, you know, uh, playing the stuff in the studio at the same time, having it documented. You, you forget about the cam cameras sometimes, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you totally forget they're there because they're there all the time. And uh, you find, I, I can't believe, I'm, I'm waiting to see what's on the video. Uh, no <laughs> what did I do? Huh? We call that a hot mic. Yeah. yeah what what yeah, did I say? There was a lot of hot mics. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hot mics is there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. But you know what? That's what reality is all about. Indeed. And that's what you guys are all about. You know, you've been doing this for quite a long time. You, you're all about this. That's, that's what it is. 2008 is when you guys were founded, right? Right. And then 2009, it's like you took off like a bat out of hell. Yeah, it seems that way in some, in some ways. It, it's been a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, we've, gotten to do, we've gotten to go a lot of places and do a lot of things that, uh, you know, that, Sometimes I, I still go, wow, we did that. That was cool. And well, it's, it's a real, real good thing. Tell well, us about some of those things. We've been to uh we've been to Scandinavia, we've been to Europe, we've been all over the country. We played Rock Um uh, we've gotten to play with so many of our heroes and people that we admire that it, it's it, it would take too long to list all those people, but Paul <laughs> Skinner and uh and ZZ Top and Fog Hat and we just added. Um, We've done everything from Rod and Johnny Cash's tour bus to fly Lear jets to Oklahoma. Yeah, so, you know everything in between. <laughs> how was Johnny Cash's? How was how was that bus? That was in Europe, and it's a it's a thing called a, a night night liner. And over there, they're skinnier but taller. And they got these you know spiral staircases and. 18 bunks on the top level with two lounges front and back. And um, this so happened, from what I hear, the one we had was Shares and Johnny Cash's tour bus during, you know, the earlier time period than we had it. But when it was new, probably. But they they had both had it. And well, what, I, I'm pretty sure Cher was, had the bunk that I was in. That's what I'm telling everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. So tell me some stories. Give me some really good stories. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's like where we all start going, story. what can we tell? Hmm. You can tell me just about anything. Yeah, it's been PG-13. Oh, hell, give me some R. Okay. Is, 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 is this a PG-13 show or is this a rated R show? <laughs> it's an R show. Okay. <laughs> wow um, um yeah you put me on the spot it's hard to just yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm adhd well, i have well, to have i have to so right. 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 ronnie you have full permission to throw me under the bus for anything oh okay <laughs> all right okay. uh, first headed over to europe for our 19 day uh, oh here we go tour. here we go <laughs> yeah so um so we fly, guess where? Amsterdam. Oh, you know, yeah. You can just, now you got a picture of what this is going to look like. And uh, so but when you add on to it that we get there at a certain time, our hotel rooms are not ready. And they're going to be a, a few hours, maybe four, to the ready. 
Huh. And we, um, well, there's a bar there, and uh, there's <laughs> one dude, just one Russian guy is there drinking. It, and, his name um, is Andre. He, he decides he likes us after talking to us for a while, and uh, the next thing you know, we're drinking the shit out of vodka shots and other Russian drinks he makes. <laughs> uh, we got to go see the town, and so we got Ben. And um, and so we we go to this uh we go to this bar down down there. Now we're shit hammered. <laughs> we go to this bar and um, and get more shit hammered. And he ends up. I think he grabs a hat off my head. You know the cowboy hat that I wear sometimes. Uh -huh. He grabbed it off my head and put it on, and then staggered out under a moving car that was coming to a stoplight with a lady driving. And uh, he was up under the car, but he climbed out from under that. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, scared the shit out of the lady. The, oh, shit. I learned this, and, you know, I, I would like to, you know, when the legend gets printed, I'd like to say I was there, but I was not. I was actually back at the hotel, but I heard a rumor that you yeah, can that's right. be too intoxicated to be allowed into a hookah bar in Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. That's where we were headed next is the, um, it's a place that where you can just smoke um, yeah. weed. I mean, it's like legal in there. <laughs> and they wouldn't allow him in. They said he was too fucked up to go in there. <laughs> and and I, 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 I will own that till the day I die. <laughs> yeah. But man, that is great. I'll tell one other little short street. story as we move along through Europe. Um, we end up uh, going to Germany in this tiny town, and uh, we're, um, you know, looking around, you know, country guys, you know, southern rock type of band, rock and roll band, you know, nice to find some weed. And uh, so we were bitching about not having any there. And this uh, boy looks like a doll dressed up in. Traditional German, <laughs> you know, like he's like fourteen or something. He comes up and he tells us, you know, "He's our man." He says, "He's our man." And, he says, uh, the, 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 he, "This is clear. my block." Yeah, he was he's the king of his block, and so he meets us up there, and he has everything. Uh, <laughs> so we end, we end up um, uh, finding all kinds of delectable small bags of these things that we. Just bought like hell. Well, shit, we got to get on a train and cross country next day. Early and in the morning. Got supplies. Now we're loaded down with little baggies of weed and stuff. And uh, oh my god! So we're a little concerned, and we try to tuck all that shit away and get rid of it. And I uh, get on that train, and you know we're everything's cool for now until it's stopped by the polar's eye. And, <laughs> oh and, lord. And they get on there, and we're going shit. We're fucked. And uh, you know they they kind of move around through us. And I think they would they take off some girl or something. Yeah, for and, for, uh, for not having like proper credentials for coming into yeah, the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they left us alone. I think well, I don't know what happened to a lot of that stuff. Was probably eaten. <laughs> I I ate it. <laughs> but um, yeah, well. There's more, but that's I will say this. Uh, Josh and I, Josh Wyatt and I learned that in Holland or Amsterdam, if you're in a rental car, you don't pull over to the side of the road or, or, or any car for that matter. You don't pull over to the side of the road like in America. You don't know where you're going. So you're like, yeah, I remember where we're going. Let's pull over to the side of the road. <laughs> so we're lost. So we pull over to the side of the road and uh, we're following the other guys who are in the van. And the po the police show up. We're like, well, yeah, they can help us with. They showed up with like M16s. <laughs> like, no, pull over to the road. No, don't. You keep going, keep going. We're like, okay, okay. this is great. You know, two redneck guys in a car, and we're in the middle of nowhere and don't know where to go. And it was fun. But uh, the other thing I really enjoyed about being over there was, that, you know, you can put us outside. <laughs> I step on it, boy. Get right back. Right, now, 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 Marty goes and tells this great story about how, you know, we, we got all this illegal contraband, right? My greatest experience of the Europe tour was the food. Okay. 
I like to eat. So they, do I. And and uh, G- Germany, that's the best food I've ever eaten in my life. So n- now now bring it back from like rated R. We'll bring it back to like PG. We're talking <laughs> about food. <laughs> And how we made you, up all that other stuff just so it's still like rock food. guys. <laughs> you like German food the best. That was the best pork chop I've ever had, other than one I've cooked for myself. Really? Pretty yeah. damn good. Yeah, absolutely. One the was the pork chop in, in the Czech Republic? Isn't that where we got the pork chop, or was it Germany? No, the pork chop was Germany uh, the, right before we went to go see UFO on that night off. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. wow. That was that yeah. same night. Yeah, remember remember the bar tab in the Czech Republic. Yeah. Oh my goodness! So so yeah. But, hey, all right, all right, all right. John and Heather, okay. it was it was my turn to pay the tab. Oh, no. Okay, so so we're we're in the Czech Republic, and you have to you have to remember there were like ten of us on that tour, and okay. and we showed up we showed up hours before, and we were all drinking and, and eating, and and then we go do the show, and then and then we come back. And like I said, it was my night to pay the tab, right? Mm-hmm. So I actually got off really lucky because the guy comes and and I'm exaggerating, but but he says, yeah, well, yeah, that's thirty five thousand dollars or th- thirty five thousand check crowns. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was like thousands and thousands. Yeah. So so I, I say, can you convert that to euro? And he looked concerned mm-hmm. too. He had yeah. yeah. Of- yeah, yeah, it's like, wow, dude, you know, you guys have a, a big bar, you know, bill. And and so so then then he 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 does the conversion to euro and it was like 57 euro. Ah, you just nailed it. Yeah, 57 yeah. euro. We were like, yeah, we're gonna have to sell stuff to pay for that. Yeah, so 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 I, I, I was like, yep, I, I've got this one because knowing, knowing that it was Marty that, that it was Marty's turn next time when we went back north. <laughs> where, where where one beer was like nine euro. <laughs> I got I, I got off good in the Czech Republic. Damn. It was right. great. Who is it at OCC? I, I I I think at this point we're all on our own. <laughs> <laughs> now so. let me ask you something. Do you have any new songs or anything? What any lineup that we would Maybe yeah, give give any like hints towards or anything. Yeah, yeah. R- 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 Ronnie, I think you need to take this one. Well, um, we're we're playing. We're right now. We're playing about uh, at any given night. We're playing one or two new things, and uh, we're just kind of rotating several songs. We we like to play stuff before we record it, just to see what people think of it. And yeah. so you'll you'll hear a couple new things and mixed right. in with all the ones that we that uh, people expect us to play. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great night. We are looking forward to it. It is really going to be rocking. It's going to be epic. Yes. We're okay. we're looking forward to it. We've seen a, we've seen pictures of the facilities. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh yes, twenty five thousand square foot under the awning, and there's two stages underneath there. I mean, it's not. It's like a building, and it just took a side off and just kept the whole roof. And we're also- we're so looking forward to it. Oh yeah, so you don't have to worry about rain. If it rains, no big deal because you're it's all enclosed. And on, uh, I'll tell you right now, on a bike night, they'll have 500 bikes there. And the way we've been doing this, there's probably going to be 1,000 bikes there. It's going to be immense. You know, it kind of reminds me of maybe like the shed, the hook to the Harley place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, in Tennessee, uh, that's a gigantic-ass place, too. And it's hooked, hooked somehow to the Harley place dealership. Yeah, because Bert's Barracuda and them share the same parking lot. So it's a facility. The OCC Roadhouse and Museum they got a gift shop, they got a restaurant, they got all the title memorabilia, and then they got a 25,000 incl- square foot enclosed venue. With pool tables and... Oh, and a shuffleboard, all free. You don't have to put any money in them. You just go ahead and play. And then they got uh, First Barracuda, which is a monstrous Harley dealer. They have the biggest flag in Harley, yeah, I mean, uh, Florida. American flag is huge. And it sits out in front of there. They got burnout pits there and everything. Wow. Oh, yeah, like that a quarter mile that'll be fun yeah we're looking forward to it uh marty i saw you had a uh was it your guitar with you yeah yeah i have it sitting right beside me were, were you going to possibly maybe perhaps play something for us well okay. <laughs> what do you guys think 
Mike, I'm, I've never hear? done this this way before. I don't know that it'll work. Uh, yeah. Well, we could try just about anything. I'm always game to give anything a we, shout one time. We've already <laughs> hit it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Uh, we could play a little little snip of one of the the new ones. Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't know how this works. So is there? I don't know how the delays work. So just well, what we could do is we could just have Marty just play the guitar licks to it. Just just whatever you want to do. Right. Right. It might work, might not. Right. But um, what would you like to do? Just play some of that guitar licks, Marty, just so we can hear that fast. Hit some right. damage. Want to belt it out, yeah. Rocky? Go ahead. Sounds great, Marty. It does. And the, 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 is it coming through all right? Yeah, yeah it's coming through great. So oh. wait till you hear it live. I know. I can't wait for you. Yeah, we'll definitely hear that one live. Yep. We're I looking forward wait. to it. You guys jam on stage too. Let me That's tell you. Cute. We just enjoy what we're doing. We hope it shines through. It does. And the way you guys, you all get along so well. Yeah. You're like a bunch of brothers on stage. Well, it, 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 that that's the thing like we we all live close to one another right so marty that's will come my, 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 marty will come over and hang out uh <coughs> we, we, we'll go over to ronnie's and hang out jim bolt the bass player his house is like the typical party spot but and it, he'll have cookouts and, and and we really do just enjoy each other's company and that you know that that's a big thing that that transfers over to what we do on stage, right? So we 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 we're all brothers off stage, and then we're definitely brothers on stage. Um, yeah, I, I, that's a big thing. Yeah, we we get in the van uh, to go or you know to go places, and it, it's like fourteen year olds on a school trip. It, we just laugh like hyenas for about the first two hours before everybody kind of settles down into their going to take a nap or going to listen to my own music and uh and we're i'm just thrilled i'm fortunate that i'm in a band with five very funny people and uh, we enjoy hey, and, 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 and ronnie the best part about it is we don't need a a, a permission slip signed to do it <laughs> <laughs> and if you did you could sign each other's that's for exactly <laughs> You're like me. I'm a big kid. I'm the same way. If I see something that looks cool, I'll just go out and do it. You know, yeah. I love being like that. Yeah. No, yeah we, I... just, plus, one of our biggest our biggest things that we like to do is we, we like to do truck stop shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yeah. better than Bucky's. Bucky's. Man, no, I, I, I need I need psychological. Uh, I, Bucky's is hard for me. It's too much. <laughs> if you're ADD, I mean, HD, like I, I mean, am, the store was like ah, too much. I locked down. I really want a Bucky's hoodie, but I just couldn't pull the trigger because my mind was like, "Where? What do I do? What do I do?" I, I mean, I, 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 I am. It's so cool. <laughs> it's well, hell, cool. hell, I mean, as far as Bucky's goes. If you buy a barbecue sandwich, you buy a hoodie and some beef jerky, you're into it for $150. Exactly. Hey, 
I, I, I kept waiting for a tram like they have at Disney World to come pull us up and take us. <laughs> <laughs> Now like, pump 99. Yeah. I, 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 called, I called my wife from the parking lot and said, you know, I, I'm at the Disney World of Truck Stops. Yeah. <laughs> you get lots in that parking lot. My God. It's so J- J- Josh, J- Josh got lost in Bucky's. You remember that? We, yeah. we had to go looking for him. I almost he was all we found him. I almost <laughs> went into the wrong damn rig and truck. Yeah, we had our big uh, toy hauler out there, and she almost walked to the wrong toy hauler because there's like so many toy haulers that is next to each other. She walked into the wrong one, over trying to get the door open. You know what, John? You, you know what, John? I can believe that. Mm-hmm. I I can believe that a hundred percent. I mean, there's only there, there's only five hundred gas pumps. Yes, on oh, one know. side. That's <laughs> one side. That, that's on one side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was on pump 218 filling up my truck on the way when I came back from North Georgia. The yeah. last concert we went to. Man, that was incredible. Uh, and the other thing is those Bucky's overbites. They're about the size of a hockey puck and they're solid chocolate. Chocolate, oh my butter God. And That's why next time you go there, they're called overbites and they have one in milk chocolate. They're the size of a hockey puck. No joke, about two bucks. Not even that bad. And yeah, it's, somebody it's, offered me some Bucky's butter. Nuggets, and I wasn't really sure. Beaver Nuggets, man. Beaver Nuggets. Oh, shoot. You got to try I'm those. Sure about that. Well, babe, the, the, you know, the, the next time we, we, we end up at a Bucky's, I'm going to have to take an equity line on my house. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I think you visit the Wall of Jerky. <laughs> the Wall of Jerky. That, 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 that's, where, that's where I need to be cut off. Yeah. The beef jerky. Nine dollars a pound for that. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, man. Is there really a wall of jerky? Yes, there is. Yeah, they got a no, whole pocket, the whole wall, and then they got like in the supermarket, like the meat displays. Another twenty-five feet, thirty feet of them in like the meat displays. Okay, so that's on the bucket list. And you can buy it by the pound. On the Bucky's list. Oh, it's on the Bucky's list. Oh, yeah. got him. Got him. For that one. <laughs> Then yeah. if you don't like the jerky, you can go to the wall of fudge. Yeah, they got all that fudge too. That's where she goes. She gets a fudge sample. It's like 13 bucks. of like 25 individual fudges inside of it. And I eat it all. And you're buzzing around with a sugar buzz. Like <laughs> an hour and a half. I'm not and feeling you know. well already. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like going into the Wendy's and ordering the family chili. For here. <laughs> the sleeve of saltines. Yeah, for here. A sleeve. But for for here. Crackers. A sleeve of saltine. And a family chili, please. Family. <laughs> oh, God. I, makes me want to go in and do it just to see what they would say. That's, that's one of the fun things about being on the road with these guys is that we all end up, you end up tired and you end up, you know, sort of punchy. Mm-hmm. And it's like, You've been out for a couple of days and you go into a Wendy's and we were actually standing in a Wendy's and we all start talking about what we want to order and how hungry we are. And that's when Marty came up with the fa- the family size chili. <laughs> <laughs> we we're going to need some sports. <laughs> you guys remind me of a practical joker. Oh, well, with extra sports. Extra yeah. sports. We're going to need some gravy. Hey, you, 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 you know what, John and Heather, if you, if, if you ever want some epic entertainment, you just uh-huh. need to come on the road with us. Oh, yeah. I bet you guys are fun. Do a rockumentary. You do remind <laughs> me of Impractical Jokers. Uh, those I can imagine you guys have some fun together. Yeah, we, don't really, we don't really pick on each other. I mean, we laugh with each other. It's just the, the fun moments to me are when we forget that there's other people around. Exactly. <laughs> Well, we went through a phase where we spoke like old English type phrases to each other. We did that for about, I don't know, four months. Yeah. And then, then we got on this thing about bro, like bros mobile, <laughs> bro siding adventure. We did that for about three months. You know, oh, great God. entertainment going on the road. Well, one of my favorite things ever is we were, we were in Florida and I was hungry. And somebody, somebody had ordered, had gotten a, a double, a quarter pounder with cheese, but they didn't want it. And I said, don't throw that away. I want it. And we, we pull up to the hotel. And 
whoever it was ignored me and threw it in the trash can in front of the hotel. And so it's it's still in the bag. <laughs> I got you. I I'm I so hungry. So I'm like elbow deep in this trash can trying to get this bag out. And I pull it back. I get the I get the quarter pounder out of the bag and I pull it up out of the trash can. And right as I'm pulling that trash can and taking a bite, this elderly couple came around the corner. Been watching him the whole time. Been watching me the whole time. So I, you know, I become instantly Ronnie the raccoon because I'm eating out of the trash. <laughs> I'm punching you like a panhandle. Ronnie the raccoon. Get something to eat. Now, hey, the hey, people hey, just hey. they looked at me with such pity. <laughs> That that, that, sure. that that is a true story, and I was sitting in the hotel like automatic doors, watching it go down. <laughs> that that really happened. <laughs> I was <laughs> Ronnie like, the raccoon, <laughs> Ronnie the raccoon, digging in the trash for a double quarter pounder. <laughs> yeah, man, when you're hungry, you'll do that. Yeah, I mean, you'll have that when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but you, know I feel you can't like leave that kind of meat around, man. No, no. no. <laughs> because I mean, let, let's face it: with inflation, that quarter pounder is worth about seven dollars. Yeah. Oh my god! That's a, you can eat off that for a couple of days if you had to. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I made dirt. 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 I will eat it. I don't care. I I mean, I, I wasn't anything else in the trash can that I really fancy, you know, but that and I was going for the quarter pounder. Re really quick, Ronnie and Marty, had I had known that I was going to take Jim's proxy on, on this interview, I, I would have waited to shave my beard. I've been waiting to say something about that. What's the matter? You, you look like you're yeah, like that's right. 16. The beard is gone. Hey, 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 John, John, two days ago, my beard was as bad as long as yours is. Wow, when you shaved it, you didn't I, even I, get a goatee, just like the in, you know, the intermediate goatee first. No, no, oh. no. I, I, it was just one of those things. It, it was a Sunday after a show, and and um, it, God. yeah, and and I I took my clippers and went, man. Oh, wow. Only thing I notice is I get whipped to death on the Harley if I don't tie it in a in a braid. It's like yeah. yeah. the, 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 the craziest thing is is now when I go to buy beer at my local store, they card you, don't they? They card me. <laughs> it takes off 20 years, right? Yeah. yeah. You do this about once every year. I yeah. noticed you do the clean shaving and then you'll go back to the Ahab by the next three. <laughs> <laughs> it, it only takes it only takes him about a week to grow a beard, though. <laughs> wow. I, 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 I just shaved this yesterday, and it's already coming back. He goes through a, a two different, uh, two different, fa well, three different phases if you include the phases in right now. Okay. This is a young Ben phase with a ah. clean shaven look. Then, of course, after a while, he'll go to the Jesus phase. <laughs> and then ultimately Jesus, at wow. the end, usually around cruise time, he is full Ahab. <laughs> I love it. Let me ask you guys something. Uh, uh, oh, just a, a question. Mm -hmm. Do any of you all ride motorcycles? I'm yes. guilty. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie, what do you ride? Uh, I've got a 2007 uh, Road King. All nice. right. Nice. nice. Cool. Right here. We you ride. Were talk, you were talking yeah. about the beard thing. What gets me, I forgot the other day as I was going on about a, an hour ride, I had on a collared work shirt, like a like a Dickies work shirt. Uh -huh. The collar dang near killed me. Imagine if you had a beard like John. Yeah. It just yeah. Was... No. I, I, I'd, I'd have to do I'd have to I'd have to put that See, that's yeah. a, that, that right there. The, the beard like that makes a statement yeah. when you step yeah. forward and take a lead solo. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so you I step forward and take a solo with a beard like that. Yeah. yeah, I just started putting it in ponytails now and mm. just started being able to braid it. Jo it John, John, now, jo John now, how long have you had that beard? A year. 
It's been a year it took me to grow it like this. He doesn't grow it. It's well, I've also trimmed do. it. I've also have had it trimmed three times too to get the shape right. Okay, all right. All right. I'll, I'll make a bet with you right now. Okay. In in one year, for, right. for, for, for let, let's let's all mark this day. Okay. In Here one year, in one year, my beard will be as long as yours. Right wow. now. Wow. See the growth okay. begins right now. Okay. Right now. So 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 with all the fans that are watching this. All right. Mark ahead. my words. Thanks. One year. All right. It'll you be the length of John. In one year. Yep. Mine will not. It, it, it might actually be shorter than that. Like uh, it, it, as, it, as far as the time frame, not mm -hmm. length of beard, but it, but in time. I want to see it. This he is, does okay. beard. He does. And this is what he says. This is the this is the only time that he's been able to grow his hair out since we've been together. Yeah, I haven't been able to brush my hair in a decade, so I had to throw it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that comment. Oh, <laughs> full beard brush, man. It's made out of uh, stainless. And it's all machined. I can keep it in my pocket and not break it. Okay. All right, all right, but well, now I I have to fucking put you onto something. Okay. The honest, the honest Amish. Yeah. The, yes. the honest, the, the honest Amish. That's the best beard products you can buy. And okay. they have a box. Honest you, Amish box. You, you you can order like beard soap. You can order beard okay. wash. You can order beard product. Beard oils. Beard yeah. everything. I I yeah. use the soap. On, on my face, like when okay. I shave, instead of using shaving lotion, I just the put the honest the honest the, 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 yes, made in uh, Pennsylvania, isn't it? Mm -hmm. the, the honest Amish, yeah, it is, a, it it is by far the best beard product you can buy. Okay, because I've been using Sir and Doctor Squatch, but that'll yeah, definitely I'll try it. Yep, and. Mm -hmm. uh, you, and they're buds of ours, yeah, friends. And, yeah. and 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 you know what? You you send you send Preacher Stone some information as far as where to send it. Okay. And I I'll have a box sent to you. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, Ben. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But 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 but, but, but beard, beard beard hair is different than head hair. Correct. Uh, and, and there's a total different process on how to care for it. Correct. The honest Amish has it nailed down to the T as far mm -hmm. as how to do it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, got you covered, bro. Thank you so much, Ben. I truly appreciate that. And to tell you the God's honest truth, it's been a pleasure having everybody on the show. It it's has. just been wonderful. We've had a great time. We've had fun. And I can't wait to we see you. We laughed our ass yes. off. And I can't wait to see you on the 21st because we've been friends for a while. Yes. This is the first time, you know, I mean, They'll actually be able to shake your hand, which is nice. Yes, yes, and see you all. And like we said, we're going to have a good time. We'll see you after the show, after yes. you all sing. We'll catch you on the after you're done. Mm -hmm. Hang well, out. Uh, you guys. Uh, uh, hold on one more second. Okay. You, you've asked some crazy, embarrassing stories of all of us. L let's hear. L l let's hear a story oh. from you. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Oh, I've got so many. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. We have to keep this PG thirteen. Oh yeah. As by your request. Well, this so, is just something. What funny. is it? This is just something funny. We um, let's see. I'll do one. Uh, my, one. my 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 contacts. Oh my god. So anyway, we were going to go and shoot. You know, we had to go do a, a video. We had to go shoot a commercial. So, and we were in Cave Spring, uh, Georgia, and uh, we had to go in and shoot um, an interview. So Heather shows up to go shoot the interview. We shoot the whole interview, everything goes good, and we get back to the camper, I'm playing back the footage. She has two different contacts in. She has a blue contact and a green contact in. She's been walking around the whole day, me taking pictures, doing an interviews with two different color eyes the whole time. And no one said anything. I didn't even notice. They posted. Some, some <laughs> like that. That, no that one noticed it. Hey, that was funny. And it toasted. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. And everybody was a little too toasted on yes, that it one. Was. Yeah, we were yeah. all <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> or another good one. We first started and nobody really knew who we were. And I'm not going to say the name of the band, but they were. Oh, God. Yeah, we were waiting and waiting and waiting just to do an interview with the lead singer of this band. The rest of the band said it was fine. This is a singer that showed up late performed and it took off, left all the other band members, one of those guys. So anyway, 
He comes out. I put the camera in his face. Then he goes to interview him, and he goes, uh, I got to go eat. Bye. Bye. I got to go eat. I got fans to see. I can't do this. Bye. And takes off. And there's Heather holding the microphone in her hand like this. And I'm live. And I'm just like, huh. <laughs> well, we, we and, and not, not 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 to speak for everybody in Preacher Stone, but mm -hmm. but I can kind of speak for everybody in Preacher Stone. That would never happen. No, no. no if, you if, if, if you were interviewing Preacher Stone, I would have yeah. shared my cheeseburger out of the trash can. With you. <laughs> <laughs> trash can cheeseburger. Well, I need the raccoon, but it's giving me a bright. I'll be a new menu item. Trash can cheeseburger, please. For Ronnie the raccoon. I don't think I ruined myself with this raccoon thing. <laughs> oh, man, guys, it's been a pleasure having you on. I, we went over and I don't care. I had a good time. We did. And thank you so, so much, much for being on, you all. And we really look forward to Sunday, August 21st with Preacher Stone. At OCC Roadhouse and Museum. For the Great American Biker Bash. Oh, awesome. for the wonderful price of ten dollars! All right, everybody. We'll see you there. then. Where we yeah, we'll looking there. forward Thank to it. Thank you for being on the show. You guys are great. We love you all. Yes, we Thank do. You, you guys care. have a great night. Be safe. All right. Take care, y'all. Peace. Peace. Bye, bye. See you guys. <laughs>